Today, I'm excited to show you how to create an awesome car logo animation using Filmora. Before we dive in, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content, so I won't distract you anymore. Let's go to Filmora. Alright guys, here's the clip I'm using to create this logo animation. First, we need to cut the logo out. To do that, select the layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Then, hide the bottom layer for now. So I need to make this animation on this part. So I remove the unwanted parts like this. OK to cut out the logo, we'll use the Smart Cutout tool. Go to the AI tools and select Smart Cutout. Choose the brush tool and draw a selection around the logo like this. Then click this button to start the process. Once it's done, go to the preview mode and change the background to transparent. Next, let's adjust the edge feather. Set the edge thickness to minus 1.5 and the feather to around 3. After that click save and now our logo is perfectly cut out. Now, you can unhide the bottom layer. Alright, now we're moving on to the animation part. Before we start animating, we need to bring our logo to the center to create a perfect spin animation. First, let's mark the center using guides. Go to the settings and enable the ruler. Right click on the ruler and select add guide, then add lines according to your resolution. Next, bring the logo to the center. Select the logo layer, go to basic and use the position settings to center it. Also increase the logo scale, because if you change the scale after converting it to a compound clip, it might affect the quality. OK then select the layer, and change it to a compound clip by pressing Alt plus G. Name it logo, and hit OK. Then go to the settings, and adjust the scale and position according to your original logo. Now, let's create the spin animation. First, go to the beginning of the layer and increase the scale. Create keyframes for position and rotation, then bring the logo down. Move forward a few seconds. Bring the logo up and rotate it a few rounds. Also create a keyframe for scale. Then go to the end. Adjust the scale and position according to the original logo and rotate it a few more rounds. Next, go to the keyframe panel, select all the keyframes, and add the ease out graph. OK to smooth the animation, we'll use blur effects. First, let's add a direction blur. Go to Effects, select Video Effect Blur, then choose Direction Blur, and add it to the logo layer. In the Effects settings, first change the direction to 90 degrees and the blur strength to 30. Create a keyframe on blur at the start. Move to the next keyframe, and change the blur to 0. OK, now it's a little bit smooth, but we need to add Spin Blur as well. To add Spin Blur, Go to the Effects tab, select Rotate Blur, and add it to the logo layer. In the Effects settings, change the blur radius to 2 and the blur intensity to 50. Then animate this by creating a keyframe on blur at the start. Then go to the next keyframe and change it to 0. Before the end, change it back to 50. And at the very end, bring it back to 0. Now you can see the animation looks much smoother. Alright guys, now we're at the main part of this tutorial, removing the logo. Before we start, go to the end of the animation and split the original clip like this. Then select the layer and let's use the new object remover tool in Filmora. Go to the toolbar and select the AI object remover tool. This will open a new window, similar to the smart cutout feature. So then use the brush tool to draw a selection around the logo. If you make any mistakes, there's an Erase tool to correct unwanted selections. After drawing the first selection, move a few seconds forward and draw another selection. This helps track the logo accurately, 
Repeat this process to add a few more selection points. Once you've added all the selections, click the Remove button to start the process. The window will close automatically, and you'll see the layer showing the removal process at the bottom. This process will take a few minutes to complete, depending on your clip length and network speed. Alright, the process is complete. Let's see the result. As you can see, no words, it did an amazing job. All right, now we're in the final part of this tutorial. Let's add a water ripple effect to our logo animation. First, move the logo layer to the fifth layer. Next, we'll use a ripple overlay, which you can download from the link in the description. Add this ripple overlay to the timeline. Now, we need to change the blend mode for this layer. Go to compositing and change the blend mode to screen and adjust the scale as needed. Then I add the fade in and fade out animation using opacity like this. Next, let's add the water ripple effect. Go to the effects tab, select shake, and then choose the ripple shake 2 effect. Add it to the timeline. In the effects settings, set the shake amount to 5, and increase the duration to 10. Now, we have a nice water ripple effect like this. That's it. That's how you create the coolest car logo animation in Filmora. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're looking to learn more awesome techniques, stay connected with me. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Oh,